What's going on, Sweet Scale fam? It's your boy Cedric. Welcome back to the studio. Today is the day. One lucky producer is gonna be getting a free copy of Keyscape. Thanks to the homies from Ilio for hooking that up. We'll be doing the draw at the end of the episode, so stick around. Okay, so the last couple episodes we did, what do we do? We did drill with a Spanish vibe and trap with a Spanish vibe. So we're gonna switch it up today. I have a few artists hitting me up. They want some R&B tracks. I have a chord progression in mind, which is really weird because I usually forget my chord progressions, but this has been stuck in my head for the last week. So before I forget it, let's cook up. All right, so question of the day. How long does it take for you to make a beat? For me, it might take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, hour and a half. It all depends if I feel like I have the right sound or not. Drop a comment below. Let us know how long it takes for you to make a beat. All right, so the chord progression I had in mind. Since we're giving away Keyscape, we might as well pull it up. I get asked this question all the time. Is Keyscape worth it? Yes, 1000% yes. It's definitely a top three VST. I typically just use the grand piano. It's just, it just sounds amazing. So this is the chord progression I had. Yeah. That's nice. I meant to do, but I did it. I might keep that. This is why I feel like you should learn to play an instrument. I don't feel like you can come up with these ideas by clicking everything in. Ain't nothing wrong with clicking things, but sometimes it's useful to play an instrument because even when you make mistakes, you come up with ideas. I do this all the time. I make mistakes all the time. You just don't see them on camera. So that's why I think it's important to learn to play an instrument, learn to play the piano. Don't worry, course is coming soon. Yeah, that was stuck in my head for like a week now. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I wanna convert that to audio. This is gonna be so dope. I think I wanna bring in some electric piano as well. Mm. The only problem I have with Keyscape is there's just so many amazing pianos. I think I want another guitar. Da -na, da -na. That's the melody I have. put on any effects yet. Once we put our effects on, it's gonna take this sample to a whole nother level. Then we're gonna add the drums right now. Let's go to Sweet Scale Drums, R&B Kit. Let's build these drums.
Okay, so you guys know I love Trillion, but it's important to switch things up. So let's head over to the Triton VST. I know the Triton has some dope bases. Perfect. I'm just gonna bring in an 808 because I'm not gonna use the base at all times. So like once we bring in an 808, it's gonna hit right and it's gonna solidify this beat. That's it. Keep it simple. Okay, I think we have enough to arrange the beat. Actually, you know what? Let me throw on my effects right now. I like to throw in a vocal chop here and there, but this is perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and arrange everything. Make sure every clip is 16 bars, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and start stripping certain parts out. So let's take out the first guitar. Obviously we're gonna take out the 808 and take out the kicks. <laughs> See, this is where we're gonna bring the bass back and then just keep that section right here. We do. Perfect. And then I want to bring the slide back. Perfect. And then we bring the 808 back. I'm also going to bring my favorite sound in, and I think I'm going to layer that. Probably one of my favorite R&B beats I've ever created. I'm gonna go ahead and try to explain the arrangement. Sweet scales, sweet scales, sweet scales. Here comes the 808 drop, and we brought back the cymbals. Here comes the bass. Take the grand piano up an octave right here. Sweet scale, sweet scale, sweet scale, sweet scale, sweet scale. Bring the cymbals back. Yeah, that's pretty much the beat. That is another episode. Oh, we still gotta do the giveaway. Okay, so first and foremost, a huge shout out to everyone that's followed myself and Ilio on Instagram. And I did speak to the homies at Ilio. I would say expect some more giveaways really soon. So um, if you haven't already followed myself and Ilio on Instagram, make sure you go do that ASAP. Had over 300 producers and musicians jump in on this giveaway. So uh, really excited about this. Good luck to everyone. And without further ado, let's pick a winner. The winner of the Keyscape giveaway is beautiful underscore knowledge seven. Daniel Alvarez. Congrats to you, bro. So that is another episode in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do me a huge favor, 
hit the like button as well as leave me a comment below. And if you haven't already joined the Sweet Scale family, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. It's your boy Cedric from Sweet Scale TV. I appreciate y'all signing out. See you in the next episode.